Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to prevent and avoid those dreaded smile lines that we all get and especially myself because I've got massive cheeks but it just means you're a happy person, you should be proud. So the first thing I would recommend is always moisturise your skin really well. According to your skin type, I have very dry skin so I make sure I use a nice hydrating one. This Glam Glow Glow Starter is so good, it has a slight glow to it so it just gives a nice glow to your skin. Next up, I would always recommend some type of smoothing primer and I've been using this Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. It's kind of like a smoothing primer kind of thing and it fills in the lines in my opinion and it gives him kind of like a smooth canvas for any makeup products to go on top of that. And I just like to tap that into my smile lines. Then I would recommend an eyeshadow primer or a really good concealer. Now my go-to all-time favourite concealer is the Chart Tarte Shape Tape. I use the shade Tan Sand and this does not crease. And I've also have been loving the LA Girl Pro Primer in Nude. It's so good at actually keeping your eyeshadow in place and not creasing. And because it's preventing creasing, it's perfect for smile lines. So I like to just tap that into my smile lines. And it's a bit light, but when you put your foundation over it, you don't really see it. And I normally do colour correct, but I thought I'll skip it in this video. And then I, I thought I showed the concealer side, so I just, again, like to tap that in place. Sometimes I use my beauty blender or my finger. Now, you really, really need a good foundation. This plays a massive role in smile lines, in my opinion. So, for example, my Kiko Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation is so bad. It gives me the biggest smile lines. And even though I like the foundation, just smile lines is just a big no-no. But my favourite foundation is the Makeup Forever Foundation Stick, the Ultra HD Foundation Stick in Y445. This foundation is so good and I find that it doesn't give me smile lines well. It gives me the less smile lines compared to all my other foundations and I've tried a ton, trust me. Um, so I just like to take a dense fluffy brush with this foundation. I don't really use my beauty blender with this one and I just kind of swirl it into my cheeks and everywhere else. But when I come around to my mouth area, I like to tap slash swipe the brush it's so weird like i'm tapping but i'm slightly swiping at the same time just to really blend the product and i don't want to move any of the stuff that we've put underneath so i like to use more tapping motions but yeah as you can see it gives this flawless base this foundation is so good 10 out of 10 for me i love it so much um but yeah i'm just blending away awkward moment where I don't really know what to say <laughs> but anyways when I'm done with that it's time to set that in place and I've been loving the W7 banana dreams powder I bake with this under my eyes but I also bake with it around my mouth so around just underneath my mouth my lip area and on the smile lines itself because I get a lot of separation under my mouth area and also on the smile lines so I just really bake in those areas and I just let that set while I do my concealer bit and then I'm grabbing a fluffy brush just to like swirl that off I'm barely touching my skin with the brush but you just want to dust that all off and then finally when you're done with all your makeup you just want to set your, ma your makeup in place and I use the Laura Geller spackle mist I use a ton of sp setting sprays but this is a really good one this is just going to make all the powders and everything melt together and look natural but there you go guys, I think that's it, I will have to say. I hope this really helped you guys. You can go on and smile away without worrying about smile lines. And yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!